But it feels like whenever I talk to these ego feminists, okay. they'll be like, you're just a man and you don't understand how good you have it. And I'm like, have you even tried considering that's not true? Have you tried thinking about the things I experience and what it's like to, to, to grow up? No, they don't. No, yeah. no, they so, don't. So I actually had an interesting conversation once with a very high profile feminist where this is what she told me. She said, men are so privileged to get everything handed to them and they just don't understand how good they have it. And I was like, have you ever looked at um, like, what was it called? Sexual marketplace data that OkCupid okay released. So, so okay. We, we kind of talked about this, right? Right, right. So yeah, really yeah. interesting. OkCupid okay released data to track the value of an individual. Okay. And they found that the value. women, right. a man will never in his life reach the same societal value as a woman, period. Dude. And that growing up until about the age of 26 or so, women have max societal value. It can't get higher. That's the standard. It's so high. They're protected. They're, they're, you know, they're given things. And that there are also limitations because it's not like you're just sitting on a throne. No, it means there's going to be restrictions like you can't do this, you can't do that for sure. Hmm. But it's about whether or not society values you. So do you think that these people are thinking they actually finally have the upper hand? And they don't want to lose the like minority status that they used to have that allows them to complain and well, well, so so fight. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Let, let me. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, what I think about this. The the point I'll make is, young men are valueless, literally valueless. Okay. They have no skills. They're not particularly strong. They're not big, and it takes men a long time to learn the skills to be valuable to society, okay. to grow and develop muscle mass, and then it's around 26 or more when men and women start actually switching places. Okay. So now men in their 30s are having an easier time of things, are, are finding more value in society. And women at that age are going down okay. for obvious biological reasons, which you can get mad at me all you want. This stuff is, is studied and, you know, it's like I'm not making this up. It's not like some men's rights stuff. It's like literally they track attractiveness. Men want 22-year-old women for babies. Hmm. So here's what I think happens. If you spend your whole life at, at number one, so uh, I'll give you a real, real real world example. When I was growing up, all of the low level jobs for 16 year olds, it's like 90% women. Starbucks yeah. baristas, ice cream shop handlers, yeah. fast food service. The grill cooks were like, you know, 30 year old dudes. Old dudes, right. yeah. And then all of the servers were young women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, one example I have to tell people is I know somebody who was working a minimum wage job out of college with a degree. And his sister was getting 200 bucks a night, four hours a night serving food at a restaurant because and, and so here's what happens when I when I would turn 21, I was in Chicago and I went all of these different businesses and every single place told me the same thing. When it comes to entry level stuff for like bars, bar back and servers, we do not hire men. Mm -hmm. Wow. So straight up, just straight, straight up. And I had we, one guy who took wow. pity on me because I lived about a block away from this place. And I was like, you know, I was talking and I was like, I'm trying to find any work I can. And he was like, he's like, you tried up down the street, you tried other places. And I was like, bro, I was like, I went everywhere. And they all told me the same thing. Yeah. And it's basically like you can get a crappy minimum wage, bare minimum trash job. And then all the women my age were like bartenders. Not all of them, but like a lot of them. Yeah. And they were work baristas and they were getting mad tips. And I was broke. And the dude was like, I'll tell you what, man. He's like, you come in two hours for clothes. You help the, the bar backs. I'll toss you 50 bucks for those, you know, those two hours. And I was like, what? What? That's 25 bucks an hour, dude. And he was like, I got you, man. And it only lasted a little bit because they ended up going out of business. Oh, okay. But anyway, here's what happens. These women who don't understand that, the, like, I don't know what you could call it, like the glass basement, I guess. Like it's, <laughs> it, and this is an anecdotal for the most part for uh, me yeah, growing right. up in Chicago. But here's how I feel. And I could be wrong. That if you, if you're growing up and society treats you as the most important thing, mm -hmm. that's your standard to you. That's normal. And so what happens when you get older and it starts going, it starts, it starts getting worse. Start losing that effect. Yeah. All of a sudden you feel like life's not fair. Why, mm -hmm. why, is, why are things getting worse for me? Yeah. Then here's what I think you, you end up seeing. You end up seeing. You end up seeing dudes who all of a sudden things are getting better. So here's what happens. The women start complaining, life sucks. And these men who are seeing things get better and better are like, man, really? Things That's are getting so great. much better yeah. for me. And then you end Nailed up it. with male feminists yeah. who are like, I'll help you. Not realizing yeah. that... Men, according to this, was like not just OK Cupid data, but basically societal value overwhelmingly, you know, favors young women for a million reasons. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. younger women yeah. and older guys. Yeah. So you made the comparison that chicks tend to start out on an easy setting, and then with, for dudes, it gets easier as they go. Right. Like you compared it to it's a, like video a video game. game. I think. Yeah, that was yeah. so interesting to me. I was like, oh my gosh, that is accurate. Yeah, it's like imagine you're playing a video game and you can choose a character that has like 
faster, actually a racing game. You can choose the car with really high acceleration, but low max speed. Okay. Or you can choose a car with high max speed and low acceleration. Low acceleration car means you, you're gonna, you're, it's going to take longer to get to the first place and you can't mess up. Right. F- once you finally reach that point, you can keep steady. And if you've got the skill, you're going to remain in that place. Starting with fast acceleration, you can get to first place really, really quickly, but then it becomes harder. So I think we end up seeing a lot of women as they're getting older and they're, they're you know, and I'm not saying it's a good thing that society does this. You know, I, I think, you know, equality of opportunity is, is, is an awesome thing. I think people have the right to pursue, you know, happiness. And that means women should be able to be CEOs, be whatever they want to be. Mm-hmm. And the opportunity to do so, not the guarantee they get it. Right. right. But I think that's one of the things we end up seeing. So now you have naturally when their whole life is, is I, I think this explains why they don't want to be garbage, garbage men. They don't want to be you drafted. Know, they don't want to be drafted. Yeah. They don't want to be crawling around in sewers because it's not about equality. It's about maintaining their position of privilege. And as they like to say, to the privileged, uh, uh, what do they say? To, to uh, equality looks like oppression. So now that they're finally coming down mm-hmm. and coming to a, an equal position with how, how men have lived, they feel like they're being oppressed. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. If you really want to talk about being oppressed, let's talk about the combat death gap. Mm. Right. What is it, 98% mm-hmm. male? 98%. Yeah, dude. No one talk about no one's talking about closing Our that, men right? Dying. 75% yeah. of homeless people, 98% of combat deaths. Uh, what is it, 80% of suicides? Yeah, dude. It's messed so, up. So yeah. I'm not saying that women get everything they want. So who really has the privilege, you know? Well, I don't know. It's pros and cons. Exactly. It's, 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 yeah. I think it's impossible it's to quantify. It's not black and white. Nothing is really, you know, well, but when you start, especially this subject. Yeah, when you start life in hard mode, I mean, the odds are you're going to get drafted and you're going to get killed in war and you're going right. to commit suicide because life is hard. And imagine and you if don't you're dumb too. Oh imagine if you're a short guy or a dumb guy or both. Yeah. Mm. And then it's just like because it's it's called the greater male greater male variability hypothesis. Yeah. That men occupy the more extreme ends of the spectrum relative to women. Yeah. So they are more stupid men. So you, you end up with angry, ugly, stupid guys. They so go nuts. Like, so it, simply an attraction thing, too. Like women are more attractive in general. And so as they're younger, like people want to gravitate towards the, the yeah. attractive girl at the bar, not the guy at the bar. Yeah. Like, oh, cool, the guy, but the girl. Ooh, she's cute. I want to go talk to her. Whether you're a guy or a girl, I think we can all agree. Well, take a look at how dating sites work. Go ahead. Men do the messaging, yeah. women get messaged, no matter what. Like, it's True. obviously unattractive women get messaged less, they still get messaged. Okay. They do have to do some messaging. And then the same is true for women as they get older. But one, one of the interesting bits of data that was, I think, removed by OkCupid, because like the incel community, community latched onto it, was that men, men's view of attractiveness for, for women was a bell curve. So there's the bottom 20%. Then there's the top 60%, or then the mid-60s, and then the top 20%. Okay. Women viewed every, every man, uh, the, the top uh, 20th percentile was average to them. So, like, for, for men, it's a bell curve. The average woman, is, they would see as average. There okay. was actually there was actually super attractive, kind of ugly, and average. But for kind women, realistic, yeah. every single guy was unattractive except for the cream of the crop, top of the top, six foot tall, chiseled, five wow. o'clock shadow, abs, making good money. Yeah, that's, that's not realistic. But that so so I think the issue is that because women get messaged, mm-hmm. they basically open up Tinder and they look at their list of all the messages and go do 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 ah this guy. Is it possible they they overestimate their own market value? I'm starting. I mean to everyone think that. everyone does. Everyone I probably think so. dudes. I think so. Think oh, so? dudes definitely. Do. Everybody <laughs> no everybody does. Everyone thinks that they're right. Well, of course. Basically, you yeah. know, it's like I'm I am the master of my mind and the master right. of well, my world. Well, you're with yourself all the and time. And everyone everyone yeah. is. Yeah. Like, and if it you know? and if it just so happens you are right, you'll 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 tend towards success. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. So then the people who think they're right but they're dumb don't understand that they're dumb and they tend towards failure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what breeds socialism. And then they <laughs> and especially, <laughs> I, 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 I actually mean that. And especially yeah. when they start blaming others for that failure. Right. They start exactly. getting resentful. Of, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's where so that's where you get socialism. So it's for not sure. it's not surprising to me that we're seeing you know, I did think it was interesting that we saw an overlap between the leftist socialist types and the woke feminist types. But it makes sense. Yeah. It's people who think they're deserving. Other people are stealing and taking mm-hmm. away from them, and it, it, it all overlaps. So maybe that's it. It's the women, when they're younger, they're getting all this stuff, and they're used to it, and they're getting all yep. this attention yep. and being doted upon by guys all over the place because 
you know, they're getting to choose and then they're starting to lose it and they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I have the perfect example. Whoa. Remember that, who's that Who's that Guardian feminist? And she wrote, like, men are catcalling me, harumph, I say. Oh, I don't and, and a year name. later, she was like, men don't catcall me oh, anymore and that. I'm sad. Wait, seriously? I'm not even kidding. Can you try and look that up? Yeah, What's your name? I can oh pull it up real fast. I'm pretty sure everybody listening is like familiar <laughs> with exactly this. Yeah, I'm sure. Because it was a about. meme. I just glance yeah. at she the said, I'm, she said some. She said something like, and I'm upset that society makes me miss it. But I, but it's uh, yes I hate no, that our society it's not makes society it's her Jessica Valenti yes, yes. Jessica how could Valenti. I forget yeah, yeah PTSD oh my yeah, goodness she's, she's really something let me yeah, see if I can I find I the get image. that that video was so funny like oh hey hello have that's, a nice day yeah that's not cat calling. enjoy the weather like that's I found it half of the video was yeah. silly I found it yeah yeah hold on one sec there we go oh, here we go Woo-hoo. the end of hisses whistles yes. and stares we need to walk the streets without fear. Men rarely can't call me anymore. I hate that our culture makes me miss it. She just got older. That's all there is to it. But and, and I'll be fair too. One year older. She's saying I hate that our culture makes me miss it. So it's still a criticism. Right. But she is admitting she misses it. Yeah. So so I actually have another theory on this. Oh. Ooh. I think that one of the one of the reasons men don't get catcalled is that what makes a man valuable is like status, skill, ability, right? Yeah. Men do get catcalled. There was this really funny video. Where this guy made, you know, remember the 10 hours of walking through New York as a woman? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A guy made one and he was a male model okay. and he Ooh. got catcalled by women nonstop. I can, uh, I actually have been catcalled a lot in New York. Yeah, Adam used and to you, model. And, and you, you're a model. Mm-hmm. did mm-hmm. used to model mm-hmm. in New York. Funny enough, it wasn't, I mean, girls did have done it, but it was mostly gay guys <laughs> oh, <that's so laughs> that funny. would catcall of course, me. Of course, though, dude. So but whatever. It's another, it's because another... they're more aggressive and yeah, I guess sure would go are. after it. It's because but... what guys do, man. But still, like, like, I get it. Okay, whatever. Right. But here, here's the thing. I started I started to realize something when I started getting catcalled. <laughs> okay. I get catcalled all the time. By, by the cat Because people know him. Because people know who I am. Yeah. Oh, I and say. so here's what I was thinking. Like, Boku's constantly <laughs> yeah. going. Meow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Knocking stuff. No, no, no. But <laughs> hold on. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> for better or for worse, you can criticize it all day and night. Society values women for their child, child rearing potential. It doesn't need to be that way. We've changed that a lot. But that's just like, you know, you know what I mean? You, you see what I'm saying? That men are attractive uh, what women find attractive is confidence skill status ability yeah how do you see those things yeah you can't physically true. see them yeah. peacocking mm. wearing wearing a sombrero <laughs> and binoculars with gold like, rings yeah you gotta walk like conor mcgregor well so here's what i started thinking right uh over the past several years i get hollered at all the time it's not the same it's not only women it's yeah. just like people being like oh Oh, Tim oh, Pool. Are you Tim oh Pool? Gosh, are you yeah. really Tim Pool? And then me being like, yeah, and they're like, nice to meet you. I recognize that beanie. Yeah. Yep. I and I started. you all the time. I, I start, yeah. but, so I've been I, next to him. It's happened. Yeah, it does happen so quite often. And I have a bunch of friends, you know, <laughs> that, I've, that I've watched that happen to them too. And I started thinking like, this is not the same. Mm-hmm. It's definitely not the same because like actual like cat calling of women can be creepy. Yeah. It's uncomfortable. But there's, there's a similarity to it yeah. that the status is recognizable. People like what you do or what you are or what you rep- what you represent. Now, I can certainly understand if women like Jessica Valenti don't like the fact that their value is derived from what they look like, whereas mine would be derived from what people know about me. But it's also true that women have that same privilege as well, that you can be a beautiful and famous, skilled, talented, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like think about like a famous female gymnast. Not only are people going to be like, whoa, she's so attractive. They're also going to be like, oh, man, you're so and so. Yeah. So I think. You know, men probably don't understand catcalling because you can't see status. You can't see confidence. But there are some men who do. Certainly, you've experienced it. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. Are we, uh, do we, do, do we make our point, I guess? Should we, should we jump over to Super Chess? What is the point? <laughs> the point? The point is basically that <sighs> when push comes, so let me wrap that up, actually, because yeah. we, we took this one for like 40 minutes. Yeah, man. When yeah. push comes to shove, when chaos Hits the f- when when you know when chaos hits the fan. I know it's a different word I'm supposed yes. to use, but yes. this is YouTube. We're a family. I friend. like that when chaos hits the fan. That's yeah. good. All of a sudden now Take we it. fall back to the 1950s. Mm-hmm. The men need to go to war. The men need to take the risks. Interestingly, though, I know there's going to be a lot of angry feminists, but a lot of healthcare professionals are female. Yeah, um, they, they, a huge majority, something right? like 95. percent And you know what was interesting to me was that men tend to make more in nursing anyway. Because they ask. What? No, because they work as an anesthesiologist. Which make more money and you end up working with a machine, not a person. So so after everything I've just said, there was one thing I was absolutely saving for the end of this. While I agree with her to an extent that it's going to send us back to the 50s, right. 
the frontline battle right now is being led by women. It's a pandemic. People yeah. in hospitals, healthcare yeah. professional, health, the healthcare industry is dominated by women. Dude, yeah, I want. I would shout out my coworkers because yep. they are wearing the masks. Their exactly. noses are getting that red thing on the top. It's nonsense. They are working their butts off. Yeah, so so I agree with her to a certain degree, right. but I think it's important to point that out. This is a battle that can't be won with 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 guns and brawn. But in this fight, you do have a lot of women on the front line taking that risk. Yeah. And that to me is like actually a good sign of progress and all that stuff. So great. Yeah. as much as I'm sure there's a bunch of feminists who are going to clip and cut all of these screeching that Tim Pool's an MRA or something. Whatever. No, I'm, 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 I'm a legit liberty minded equality, you know, kind of person. And I respect individuals, but we got to be real, man. You're not going to see, save like Muggs, Muggsy Bogues, uh, five foot three dude in the NBA. Right. It's rare. It's a rare thing. So rare. Yeah. And it's not because they're heightist. It's because to win, you got to be tall. Yeah. And that's true for so much other stuff. Or incredibly good. Like he Muggsy was. Muggsy was awesome. He was amazing. Dude. Yeah. He could 360 dunk. He could jump his own body height. That's that amazing. Nuts. That's nuts. That's that's dude's nuts. awesome. Yeah, that Inhuman. Nuts. Yeah. I don't know what he's up to now. I mean, I'm not a big NBA person, but I'm sure there's a bunch of other people like that too, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks for checking out this segment from the Timcast IRL podcast. We do the show every Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., sometimes an hour or two. And we do have a full live recorded version of the show that includes a lot of comments and smaller segments you probably don't see. If you want to check that out, you can watch live at 8 p.m. Monday through Friday or become a member of this channel. And for five bucks a month, you get full access to all of the recorded podcasts every day after the show. We make them available in the community section of this YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and stick around for more segments and more shows Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Thanks for hanging out and we will see you all in the next show.